they all have pretty crappy displays, 13, 14 inch, but more importantly, they're, they're not so good quality. We design our own displays here at Apple, and this one is great. And it's the window onto your software, so that's, you want that to be good. There's likely no networking in these products. Old generation I.O., and they're, they really don't look so good. So what is ours? We decided to put a screaming processor in this thing, so we've built in a G3 processor running at 233 megahertz into our consumer product. In addition, we put a half a megabyte L2 backside cache on it. Now, again, this is that the best consumer computer you can buy, the fastest one, that compact, uses an AMD K6 chip in it, also running at 233 megahertz. It's 3.2 byte marks, 7.9 for the iMac. But if you think that's cool, this is even cooler. The fastest Pentium 2 400 you can buy is slower. So you can go out and plunk down thousands of dollars and get the fastest penny and two box you can buy, and for $1,299, this thing's faster. Now, why did we do that? We did that because we want your software to shine in front of these consumers, not crawl along at a snail's pace. We built in, again, a gorgeous 15-inch display, 1024 by 768 resolution. Again, why should you have to squeeze your software down just because it's a consumer? You shouldn't have to. Lots of memory, 32 megabyte standard, 4 gig disk, 24x CD-ROM, 100 megabit Ethernet built into every product. A lot of consumers are starting to put in networks in their homes. About 20% of the new homes being built in Silicon Valley have class 5 cable in the wall for Ethernet. Okay, plus in education, they're all networked. Fast modem, 4 megabit IRDA right in the front of the unit. That's the infrared input for beaming in photos from your digital camera, etc. We've gone to all new I.O. The old I.O. from Apple is not on this product. All new I.O., universal serial bus, the emerging industry standard for connecting all peripherals, 12 megabit per second, two ports. Stereo surround sound built into every product and a great, a great full-size keyboard and a great mouse. And we're bundling some software with this as well. Mac OS 8, Internet Explorer, New American Online Client that's terrific. Apple Works, which is the rebranded Claris Works, Quicken 98 Deluxe Edition, and FileMaker Pro. We would also love to bundle some games. And we're talking to a few folks now about that. We'd love to talk to you. We want to bundle some really great kick-ass games with this product. So if you have any other ideas, come talk to us. Now's a real good time. <laughs> 1299 dollars. You got everything I just went through. Nothing else to buy. 1299 dollars. And We'll be shipping them in volume in August. We've kept this project a super secret. We decided to announce it now because there's a lot of you we want to talk to to finalize some deals, to finalize some go-to-market strategies before then. So that leaves us 90 days. We'll be shipping these in volume in 90 days. We are really, really excited about this product. And we made a video about it that I'd like to show you now if that's okay. So could we please roll the, the video for IMAX? All of the images you are about to see on the large screen will be generated by what's in that bag. Hello, I am Magintosh. It sure is great to get out of that bag. Millions of people bought a map because it did things that no other computer could do. It really got people excited that this is a personal computer like none other before. And for many years, Apple got away from that. It forgot how to be different. The original Mac is an impossible act to follow. But I think what we, what we can do is, is one benefit from the philosophy that was really the foundation for the original Macintosh. This product came to be because the exec staff said, stop. Let's focus on one thing, making the best personal computer, a computer that Macintosh customers will truly love. Well, what computer would the Jetsons have had? That's the perfect way of capturing the problem, which was 
It was like the future yesterday. It's refined simplicity, and elegance, incredible ease of use, tremendous performance, and great value. This particular machine really delivers on that promise. It makes you feel uh, a lot like you thought when you first sat down to use your Macintosh. And we have this this wealth of creativity across our campuses, across our schools in K-12. What we want to do is to unleash that capability. The team was a hand-picked team from around the world. It's a remarkable place to be as a designer. There's one company where this group could exist, and that's unquestionably Apple. That's what gets me really jazzed, and what gets me up in the morning, is, is coming in every day and knowing, you know, I'm working with a world-class team to build the best products in the world. Wow. That's that some look, that some box. My first reaction was, my gosh, what is that? People have to use their hands to describe it. They struggle to find words to describe it. It's the first time we've seen something in our industry that wasn't a uh, beige box. Just imagine what's going to happen the first time somebody gets one of these home. I'm going to pull this thing out. I'm going to pick it up, and it's this gorgeous new shape. But the surface as well is totally seductive. I mean, it's a lovely thing to touch and to hold. This cool keyboard with translucent keycaps. The connectors are, are translucent. I'm going to pull out this, this exciting new mouse. It looks like no other mouse you've ever seen before. You turn it on, and it comes alive. It's always changing. It's always moving. And before you know it, in the first five minutes of opening the box, you're already in love with this thing. I'd like to play with one, I want to see one, I want to see what it'll do, I want to put it through its paces. But then you look a little farther and you say, holy smoke, look at the capability of this machine. Because inside is the heart of the line. I mean, this thing screams. This is not last year's product rehash, this is next year's product delivered today. A lot of power, a lot of features. Uh, it's attractive, it's exciting, and it's well priced. That's what customers are looking for. <laughs> We're going to sell tons of them, and you know, I think this is the first product that will make PC buyers switch to Mac. You see shock and recognition that, my God, Apple wasn't sitting back in this affordable consumer space. They truly have a great idea here. The fact that the Apple name is now, once again, going to stand for every man, everybody, mass market, I think is terrific news for all of them. We talk internally. Will we have enough product to take care of the demand? I'd like the first one off the production line. I, I will stand there at the end of the production line when the first one comes off. Right. Consumers have been loyal. They've been patient. They've been frustrated. They've been zealous. Okay. Well, it's going to show it paid off waiting. So we're really excited about this, as you know, and um, we hope to get one on your desk soon. So that is not only our new products, but our product strategy. And because we're focusing on only four platforms, it means that we can have our A team on all of them. It means that we can be upgrading them and enhancing them at an even faster rate. And we've got some, just some awesome stuff planned for the next few years. It's looking really good. Which brings us to why we're here today. <clears throat> we are here today to roll out our software strategy, and uh, I think it's really good. We've been working on this for 10 months. And again, we've kept it very quiet. We wanted to get far enough along that we could actually show you some stuff. Now, <clears throat> we looked at all of the software projects going on at Apple. And we knew we didn't have time to talk about all of them today, so we stack ranked them in terms of importance to our customers. And of course, the number one thing is the Mac OS. We stack ranked the number two thing as Java, which is, I think, new for Apple. And number three, QuickTime. Now, there's a lot of other really important things we do. Apple Script, Color Sync, Web Objects, you name them. But these are the three I'd like to talk about today. They're our top three, and I'd like to cover them in reverse order. So first, I'd like to talk about QuickTime some. <clears throat> when I got to Apple, I didn't quite understand what QuickTime was. I thought it was this little tiny video thing in a window, and it's much bigger than that. As you know, we are now in the digital age of media. Everything's gone digital. We've got CD-ROMs that have their own standard. We've got audio CDs that have a different standard. 